When it comes to the seasons of Advent and Christmas, it's all about the music. Whether we gravitate toward ancient hymns or Victorian carols or even some of the newer pop songs, there's just something about the music of these back-to-back -back seasons that speaks to us in deep and powerful ways. Every December, we seek out concerts or we pause to watch musical performers on Boston city streets. We listen at the shopping mall or while driving in the car or during our holiday chores at home. I recently learned that a few radio stations convert to a 24-7 Christmas music format starting sometimes as early as the day after Halloween. And there's a good reason for this modern phenomenon known as Christmas creep. Music speaks to us in all of our times of exile and loss, of grief and fear, of confusion and uncertainty. The great hymn writer Fanny Crosby wrote, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. And we live in a modern culture where every story needs a soundtrack. And what makes the story of Christmas so powerful is how the soundtrack is woven into the story. The season of Advent begins on Sunday, December 21st. I'll be preaching on the prophet Isaiah's words, which have become known as Serge Illuminare Jerusalem. This beautiful canticle begins with the line, Arise and shine, for your light has come, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. And on Sunday, December 8th, we'll be treated to our annual Christmas cantata entitled Sing Christmas. The choir has been working really hard on this cantata for the last few months, so please bring your friends and families to hear this special musical reflection. On Sunday, December 15th, I'll be preaching on the Benedictus of Zechariah, where we hear Zechariah's song of blessing at the birth of his son, John, the John who will become John the Baptist. On Sunday, December 22nd, I'll be preaching on the beautiful and powerful song of Mary, often known as the Magnificat. And then on Tuesday evening, December 24th at 5 p.m., we will have our traditional Lessons and Carols Christmas Eve service and I'll be preaching on the Gloria, sung to the shepherds by the angels. And we invite all families with children to come early on Christmas Eve at around 4.15 so we can get ready for our Christmas Eve Christmas pageant. We'll have some Christmas snacks, time to pick out costumes and get dressed, hear the story of Christmas, and do a quick walkthrough. And just so you know, everything is open to everybody. This uh, pageant is open to all children and the more the merrier. We'll have lots of other events and opportunities taking place during this special time of year. We have a Christmas luncheon, we have mission giving opportunities, we have a weekday Bible study exploring the stories of Jesus' birth. So we encourage you to sign up for our weekly email or like our Facebook page to stay up with all that's going on. We look forward to seeing many of you during these holy days and we hope that you will set aside time to join us for these worship services that will help us find ways to move beyond all those challenging moments of life by being lured and led by the holy song of our Savior's birth. And whether you're new to our church family or haven't been here in quite a while, remember that you are loved and affirmed and that you have a home here at Second Church in Newton. And so in the meantime, be well, friends, be kind, and be a blessing to others. And we look forward to seeing you soon.